Hello, my friends, Brian King, the Mindset King here. Gratitude. I don't know where this insight or this realization came from, but it's one that I wanted to share with you. It occurred to me that we invoke gratitude in some form, no matter what emotion we're feeling, even the most difficult emotions. But at the moment, I don't know that when we are declaring gratitude or invoking gratitude, that we're aware of the opportunity we've been given. Let me give you some examples. You know, we're used to gratitude being experienced when you're feeling happy. Somebody gives you a gift, somebody does something nice for you. You, know, you witness a heroic event and you say, thank goodness the world has people like this. You know, this, this renews my hope in humanity. I'm so grateful for this person. But what about when you're ticked off Anybody ever cut you off in traffic and you declare or, or shout something like, thanks for cutting me off, a-hole. But you think of that as being anger, as being condemning, maybe even a little sarcastic. You don't think of it as gratitude. How about when you're afraid? When my oldest was five, we were involved in a rollover accident where somebody blew through a red light and hit the minivan that I was driving and we flipped over and we were you know, there for a little while. But then strangers jumped out of their cars and came and helped my boys out of their car seats. But I was stuck hanging upside down for 20 minutes. And fortunately we were just down the street from a fire department so they got there pretty quick. And when they pulled me out, I was able to thank them and say, man, that was really frightening, you know, thank you so much. And there was an element of fear through which I was still able to experience gratitude. Now, what if you're really sad? Let's say you're at a funeral, you've lost somebody near and dear to you, and you're looking for someone to blame. And maybe you even look up to your creator and say, thanks a lot, God, thanks for taking this person from me. This was the worst thing you could ever do. Why are you punishing me like this? And maybe that's a combination of anger and fear, but it's certainly not happy. It's not the typical context for gratitude that we experience. So what's the opportunity here? The opportunity is in those moments where you're having fear or anger or even, you know, depression. And you're saying things like, oh man, thanks so much. Man, my, like as though my life didn't suck enough. Thank you so much for giving me this to deal with now. Just by realizing, at least this is my opinion, just by realizing that you're saying thank you, can you use that to reframe your experience of the moment? So let's say you're angry, the person cuts you off. You start with, hey, thanks a lot for cutting me off, you big jerk. What do you do what trying to do? Kill people? But then you realize, man, what else can I be grateful for here? Thank you for not killing somebody. Thank you for the fact that I was paying attention and my reaction time was such that I was able to break and let this person do whatever crazy thing they were doing so they didn't hit me and in turn cause a chain reaction. So you can transition that angry first reaction into some calm gratitude that's much more based in happiness. When you're afraid, You've been in a car accident or, or some other reason and someone comes along and helps you. Initially, that gratitude comes from a fear, but it can turn into thinking much more abundant. Thank goodness I still have my children. Thank goodness we all uh, emerged with scratches instead of broken bones or, you know, we weren't bleeding everywhere. You know, I know it's a little harder under those circumstances, but thank goodness the person that hit us is okay and gets to go home to their family and so on and so forth. So the opportunity in this case is to see how you can take that moment that, that where you could live in the fear or you could live in the anger or the, the, whatever the initial emotion was, and you can transition into feeling much more abundant about what that moment also represents. It doesn't just represent somebody carelessly driving. It doesn't just represent the fact that you could have been hurt or killed or whatever. It also represents the fact that there are now opportunities. There are now gifts available that maybe weren't there before because of what initially seemed like something very negative. So I'm still kind of playing with this idea, but I at least wanted to put it out here to you and get your feedback, see what you think about it. 
So please let me know your thoughts. Share some comments, shoot me off a message, share this with whoever you would like to contribute to this conversation. And until next time, this has been Brian. Thanks for being you.